Um, the essay is called uh, The Dark House Story, and in case anybody here doesn't know, uh, it's uh, a press that's one of the books from the of the House Guide. And um, Limerick has always been fabulously supportive of uh, the press. Uh, every time a new poet is coming out, uh, I have um, Dominic informed a few months in advance, and uh, he says, okay, they can pick this date and that date. And you might even have heard of the poet, but he knows that he get a, a good uh, reading, so thank you, Dominic, for that. Um, in fact, every single one of our poets, one of them is here this evening, I think she and every one of our poets uh, have uh, been the headliner in the, in the um, White House, and thanks to Bertha as well, because uh, she's had a few of them at the uh, Bushla Festival. Anyway, the Dark Horse story. As I was with the stole County Kerry in 2003, it was suggested to me that I might consider editing an anthology of writers who were performed at the Court's Corner series at Hartley's Bar Treaty, which was about to celebrate its 10th anniversary. My first reaction was to grow and not another one. But I came around to the idea. The anthology, Heart of Kerry, with contributions from 85 writers, some of them are here this evening, um, uh, was launched on New Year's Day 2004 under the imprint Dark House. A board of directors had been formed, and the name came from the chairman who donated an office space which had previously been converted from Greyhound Kennels. It was announced on the day that uh, Dark House was open to receiving individual collections for consideration within a short time. By accident rather than design, I found myself running a publishing house, albeit voluntarily, and for the love and satisfaction of bringing deserving authors who even have a chance in mainstream publishing into print. By the end of 2008, Douglas had published 25 titles without any major public funding except for the odd small grant from various company councils and some of the arts council title by title events. Each title is drawn from a vast collection of submissions of varying quality. One thing that never ceases to amaze us is the naivety of poets who are out there wishing to be published. One of the query letters we got in read, I was in France in July and started to write poetry. I have 50 written now, I need to get a book out for the Christmas market because I need the money. <laughs> so the response to something like that, like the dear poet, uh, is to say, well, keep working on it, get them published in magazines and journals, and if you're really lucky, you should have a collection ready for submission in about six to eight years. If you are still blessed by the gods, your book should be in print within about ten years from now. Poems have to be crafted. A first draft is not the poem. It has to be reworked and reworked and reworked. Our aim is to publish poets who have launched, uh, who have worked hard and deserve to have a collection published at this point in their career. They need to convince us that they have a serious dedication to their work and will be available for interviews, publicity, readings, wherever the opportunity occurs. The last thing we want to hear is the next example. I have retired from teaching and have been writing poems for a year. My friends tell me they are wonderful. My local progress group say they will host a launch for me. I also enjoy golf and tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Always check the guidelines. Easier these days as they will usually be on the website for a publisher, saving you have to, having to send an ACE for paper guidelines like they did in the old days. People often still just don't accept that they have to build up a track record. They think that their work is so good that it deserves book publication now. In our guidelines, we state that no one has ever won an Olympics without first winning small, local, and national races. Uh, the first thing we look at is not the poetry quite itself. It's usually, actually, you read the covering letter and the CD. I know it kind of sounds a bit weird, but uh, one needs to be satisfied that the writer has served their time in honing their craft. In many cases, the name will be familiar from the small presses, competitions, readings, and general poetry work, which every aspiring poet needs to become a part of. There are plenty of opportunities around the country at festivals, regular open mics like O'Brien, Over the Edge, and um, the White House, and now here at the Long Pottery, Long Pottery. Long Pottery. I asked somebody where the Lamb Bar was earlier. <laughs> 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 
Um, anyway, there's just one other page. Uh, we only put his uh, connections with the wow factor. Absolutely, totally compelling work. We receive a lot of work that, as I said, is just drops are blank about 50% of all submissions. Then there's another 40% is quite good work, competent enough, but isn't going to set the world on fire. Of the remaining 10%, um, maybe 2 or 3% will end up inside the covers of the Dark Horse book. We try to publish a balance of male and female books and from varying parts of Ireland. We only publish people who are resident in this country. Don't approach Dark Horse or any other publisher unless you're willing and accept that you are putting yourself out there on show, open to criticism and review. Yeah. We've had an author who refused to have it launch. He, he, the person said, oh, poetry is a quiet thing. I wouldn't want my neighbors to know that I am writing poetry. <laughs> uh, that is a disaster for a publisher. We did actually convince the person afterwards to have it launched. Um, but our standard contract is now um, amended to reflect that our writer is expected to do as much as possible to generate the sales. We print 500 copies of each title, about 70 are given away as review copies to newspapers, journals, magazines, and a number to legal copyright deposit libraries. We have to personally deliver stock to shops and other outlets, and it can take years for the remaining books to sell. Most wholesalers and distributors will not touch poetry, except for the very of poets of this country, Shane Sini, Paul Yorker, and a few others. Um, yeah, so how much money can a poet expect to make from everyone? With royalties at 10% of um, euro, and just over 400 copies to sell, the poet can expect to make about 350 euro at the end of several years, equivalent of about one week's work at your local supermarket checkout. There's no money in poetry, but a writer may be, look to, may be lucky enough to secure workshops, readings, and residencies, teaching others how to get on with the world of poetry. To see more of Dark Horse books, visit www.darkhorsebooks.com. Thank you very much. <laughs>